a note today from the aftermath of the tragic events in Libya. Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney under fire for comments he made about the upheaval as it was unfolding. 55 days to go now before Americans go to the polls. Your voice, your vote. And ABC's Jake Tapper has the latest on what happened today. Jake? Good evening, Diane. President Obama said today that most Americans understand there are times to set politics aside, and one of those times is when Americans overseas are in direct threat. And then President Obama took a direct political shot at Mitt Romney, suggesting he's not prepared to be commander-in-chief. As he condemned the attacks, the president today promised justice would be brought. There is absolutely no justification to this type of senseless violence. None. The world must stand together to unequivocally reject these brutal acts. And then he left to console shattered State Department employees. Last night, when Americans were still in harm's way and Ambassador Stevens was still missing, Mitt Romney went after the president. The object of his ire? This press release from the U.S. Embassy in Cairo, Egypt, condemning the anti-Muslim movie's attempt, quote, to hurt the religious feelings of Muslims. Romney called it, quote, disgraceful that the Obama administration's first response was not to condemn attacks on our diplomatic missions, but to sympathize with those who waged the attacks. But the U.S. Embassy statement about the movie was made before the diplomatic posts in Cairo and Libya were attacked. When asked about timing today, Romney stood firm. The embassy had tweeted post-attack that its original statement still applied, the campaign said. And as for U.S. personnel still having been in danger? It's never too early for the United States government to condemn attacks on Americans and to defend our values. The president responded in an interview with CBS's 60 Minutes. You know, Governor Romney seems to have a tendency to uh, shoot first, name later. Uh, and as president, one of the things I've learned is you can't do that. But beyond the tone and timing of Romney's attack are larger questions about the president's foreign policy. American leadership is necessary to ensure that events in the region don't spin out of control. The president did not take questions from reporters when he came to the Rose Garden today, Diane, but several are outstanding, including questions about security at those diplomatic posts and more broadly, what more blowback we can expect from the Arab Spring.